I'm Chris Frankel, Director of Programming for TRX, and welcome to TRX TV Weekly Sequence. This week, we're gonna take two foundational movements, the bend or the hip hinge, and combine it with the squat to make sure you're getting the most out of your lower body training. Let's get after it. The Weekly Sequence this week is gonna take a lot of focus and motor control, both by the athlete and the coach. We're gonna start with some leg lifts, but we're not gonna do them the way traditionally people have, where it starts to put the spine in a little bit of a compromised position. We're gonna start with legs together, toes are gonna to point to the sky, Hands are pushing down into the foot cradles. The hand pushing down the foot cradle is gonna give you a little bit of reflexive stability in the core. We're gonna have Liana start by now bending her knees, keeping her feet flat on the floor. This is gonna give her a little bit less of a lever arm. It's gonna be a little bit less force onto her core itself. She wants to start with the back of her head touching the ground, pull those shoulders down and back, feel like those shoulder blades are pushing into the ground, and feel your low back pushing into the ground as well. This is gonna be your feedback that you're maintaining good core stability. You don't wanna feel yourself flexing, you don't wanna feel yourself arching. From this position here, she's just gonna pull her knees right on top of her hips to a nice easy leg lift there and bring it back down. If she can maintain those three points of contact, head, shoulder blades, low back pushing into the floor, do another rep here, come back down, drive those hands in, feel that core engage right away. Remember the contraction happens before the movement with the tight core, bring it in, bring it down, and now we're gonna let you extend those legs all the way out. Drive those hands down. Feel like you're pulling those shoulder blades into the ground. Engage that core, great job. And now see if you can bring those legs straight up, slow, and down under control. Driving into the handles the whole way, all the way down. One more time, make sure everything's set before you move. Shoulder blades down and back, great. Core engagement, and breathe this time. Come up nice and slow, and down. And we're gonna have you do it one more time. Re-engage, shoulders down and back. Head stays back, low back pushes into the ground. Come up without that back flexing or extending. Hold it here at the top. Here's that hip hinge or here's that bend we've been talking about all week. We're just taking it from another angle. Bring it back down. Under control, great. Great core activation, great feedback from the pressure you're getting against the ground. Liana's now gonna stand up. She's gonna take the TRX to mid length and we're gonna go back to that hip hinge that we did earlier in the week. But now that she knows what it feels like to have that posterior chain lit up, she got all that biofeedback from those pressure points coming into her body, she's gonna go back into a little bit wider than hip width in her stance, a little bit narrower than that, almost like a squat stance, great. Hands go down, go for that same feeling you had when you had pressure going into head, shoulder girdle, low back. Walk back just a little bit more, get the hands a little bit higher, good. And now push yourself back into the hip hinge. Posterior chain lights up. Use those hip extensors to stand back up tall. Load down into the hands. Core turns on, shoulder comes down and back. Push those hips back, push those hands forward. Feel like you're lengthening that torso, great. One more time, bring yourself up using those glutes. Reach out with the hands, reach back with the hips. Bring yourself up one more time. And now we're gonna put a combo exercise together. We're gonna do one more hip hinge. Down the same way, posterior chain's lit up. Bring yourself up. And now let yourself go down into a squat position from here. Using that same bending mechanics in the lower body, good. Back into a hip hinge, slow everything down. Bring yourself up, extend through those hips. Keep that core turned on, go back into the squat. Extend those hips the same way. We're gonna do one more time. Hip hinge, load that posterior chain with a nice tall torso. Stand back up tall. Nice tall torso now goes down into that squat pattern. Bring yourself up and relax. That sequence is gonna reinforce that hinging at the hips and then start to incorporate it into our squat pattern. Stable in the core, mobile in the hips, a nice focus on core stability leading to mobility in the lower body. That's our weekly sequence. Thanks for tuning in to the weekly sequence and make sure you find your appropriate level of progression for all those exercises. Remember, it's not how fast or how hard you make those exercises, it's how clean the movement is that's gonna to contribute to your performance and your endurance activities. Make sure you come back next week for more TRX TV.